hello everyone and welcome to the blue blouse channel now if you're new here i welcome you and if you're old i welcome you same way because without you my youtube door would be closed now i was going through my youtube catalog and i realized that i don't have a video of my loose hair on camera but if you remember i did a hair loss video or an alopecia video a few months ago in essence i lost my hair and if you want to find out the different factors that might that i think might have caused it i'll link the video up above i know you're gonna ask me what i have been doing so what i've been doing is basically leaving my hair alone i haven't been doing anything extra no oiling anything like that i mean i made a ginger oil video but i only use that for a few weeks i kind of you know fell off the train because i'm so busy right now my eyes are red because of lack of sleep but guess what we have to do the youtube video right <laughs> so i'm gonna get straight into showing you the recovering parts of my hair you're gonna see some spaces right here in my hairline that is not a part of the hair loss especially these two corners over here they are congenital never had thick edges to begin with one of the places where the density loss was most obvious was at the front of my hair so i'm gonna part right here just like so to let you see what i'm talking about so as you can see i parted about maybe a quarter inch into my hairline and you can see the hair here is thin and then you can see the line of demarcation where my hairline at the front is growing back just by that you can see the prime example of what my hair front used to look like so right here is where I lost the hair. So if I hold my head up like this, you will see the little spaces filling up there. Moving on to the crown section. I mostly had breakage in this area. Notice some of it is long and there's a thin sparse area here. I am going to move to my crown section. If you notice, there isn't much that I'm working with here. In here has never been thick from morning. I've always had some amount of breakage in that area. If you notice the scalp here, it has never been thick. I don't know why, but it's just one of those things. By the way, my hair was plaited for two months. This is one of the plaits that I refuse to find the time to pull out. So my hair has been washed with this plait in there. Basically, if I hold my hair against my finger, you can see where my hair grew about an inch in two months. You've seen that the side doesn't really have a problem here. Alright, so the lateral aspect of the back on both sides is quite fine. Woo! I lost density all throughout my head. So right now, my hair looks a little bit thin. Well, a lot thin compared to what I'm used to. If I can find a picture of my previous afro, I'll insert that right here. All right. I lost all or most of my density, but in some place more than others. And you're going to see you when I show you what I mean by that. I'm going to show you the general consensus of where the, the hairs are small and they're filling back in themselves. If you should take any random section of my hair, the base of my hair is fat down here and then it goes thin so let me pull out some small hairs that you can see what I'm talking about all right this is an example so you can see some short fine hairs right there growing back and they just stop right there that's because my hair has been growing back the last three months in terms of filling its density back out some concentrated areas other than the front here would be the medial aspect of the back of my hair more so towards my right side let me show you what I'm talking about Woo! so if you notice I have good density on my left side in maybe about the first two inches of the nape of my neck and then you know it's it's a little thinner on this side and then you just have this patch of hair that is just growing back don't know if you can see it don't know if you can see it up properly but you have this patch of hair 
that is growing back. All right, so I have this. So this is what I'm talking when I say the medial aspect of my hair going going towards the right lateral side of my head. So you can see that there are some really short hairs right here. See that? That's just growing back. This is here that is immediately above it. So I had this length all throughout the back of my head. I've never had a short knee. But as you can see, I have some short hairs growing with and then the longer hairs beside it. So that is my hair. That's my hair profile. So basically, I have long sides going towards the back and then I have a big patch that is missing right here and some that is missing in the middle. See, if majority of the hair had been missing like at the back, it wouldn't be so bad. But it is hard to conceal density loss when the majority is in the crown section. You see all of that? When the majority of the hair loss is in the crown section and at the back. Some people are going to say, why don't you just cut your hair? Well, I've cut my hair multiple times and I realized that it's really not necessary to regrow your hair because your hair comes from the scalp going out. So if I cut it, it's going to be the same hair coming from the root. So gradually what I will do is just leave my hair alone clip it and probably fall back in some oil routine. I think I'm going to continue um, just braiding up my hair, leaving it alone and just do regular washes. I don't do anything special to my hair really. Let me tell you what my wash day routine looks like. It consists of shampooing, conditioning, deep conditioning and then using Blue Magic castor oil or any other oil that I see around my house. I'm not really picky, right? Um, as long as my hair ends are not breaking, I'm fine with that. Sometimes I go on the natural side, sometimes I go on the synthetic side, depending on what my brain tells me that day, because I really have no time to comb my hair, and I've been missing everywhere in my life. I've just been at work, at work, at work. But you know, the show must go on. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share. Share your experience if you've ever had hair loss. And what you did to combat that if you haven't watched my last video which is my ginger oil video I link it up here in the i cards it's bye from the blue blouse channel see you again next time